aviondemand.com. Automotive training you can receive anywhere, anytime. Your online training starts here. This next case study was a 2005 Chevrolet Cobalt 2-liter supercharged engine. The customer had recently had the engine replaced, but after the engine was installed, driving the vehicle, the check engine light came on. It would stall whenever they would come to a stoplight or a stop sign. It was surging at cruise. This all happened after a used replacement engine. Now the used engine only had 56,000 miles on it. In an attempt to fix the vehicle, a previous shop had already attempted a new mass airflow sensor, a new computer, and flashed the computer with the latest and greatest calibration from General Motors. So our next step is we started to pull trouble codes. We had a PO172 and a PO300 random misfire on this 2-liter supercharged cobalt. And we started looking at the data stream. So at idle with an RPM of 765, you can see that short-term and long-term fuel trim were both negative 25 pegged trying to turn the fuel off. The manifold absolute pressure sensor was around 38 kilopascals, which is indicating pretty steady vacuum at somewhere around 18 inches of vacuum. The bank one sensor one oxygen sensor is definitely screaming a rich condition, and the fuel trims are responding by trying to turn off the fuel at 987 millivolts. We're definitely running rich. The mass airflow sensor looks about right if we consider the plus one. We have a two liter engine, plus one, three grams. We're at 3.43. That looks to be in order from the mass airflow sensor. The engine coolant temperature is at 202 degrees. The intake air temperature is 77 degrees. Throttle is at 11%. Right now at idle, we're running at 12 degrees spark timing spark advance. Bank 2 sensor 2, the oxygen sensor behind the catalytic converter, is also indicating a rich condition at 888 millivolts. The load on the engine is 15 percent. Really none of the data PIDs are showing anything that would indicate that there might be a cause from an input sensor that would cause the engine to run rich. We don't have a data PID for fuel pressure, but we did put a fuel pressure gauge on this vehicle and it was right at specifications, which was 55 to 60 PSI. It was 58 PSI. So coolant temperature, intake air temperature, manifold absolute pressure sensor, mass airflow sensor looks okay. The computer's been programmed with the latest calibration. It's a new computer. Wow, this is a lot of things that have been replaced and a lot of things that looks good. We really don't have anything pointing towards why is the engine running rich. Fuel pressure is okay, but we're definitely running rich. The sensors aren't lying. The, the oxygen sensors are saying it's rich and the computer is responding to the oxygen sensors rich indication by turning off the fuel trims. All in all, the only thing that's really left, if you, the pressure is okay and you believe that the inputs are calculating airflow correctly, then the amount of commanded on time, injector duty cycle or injector pulse width must be right. So if the pressure is right to the injector and the on time is right into the injector, why is the injector flowing too much fuel into the engine? We decided to do some research on the part number on the injector. When we did the research on the part number of the injector and cross-reference on the internet, we found out that this injector is part of a performance modification kit sold by GM Performance. It comes with a new pulley to increase the boost pressure, to increase the RPM of the supercharger, a new belt to go along with the pulley, and now that you've increased the boost output of the supercharger, you need additional fuel. So this kit from General Motors 
would put larger injectors in and then you would flash the computer to match the larger injectors. Well, this engine with this GM Performance Stage 2 kit made its way to a salvage yard with only 56,000 miles. Then the shop needed an engine. They didn't know that they purchased a salvage engine that had a GM Performance Stage 2 kit on the salvage engine. Once they, they didn't get the computer that went with the car, so you had a stock computer with 60 pound injectors. Then they replaced the computer, trying to fix the vehicle. All you did there was load the stock calibration. The stock injectors flow approximately 42 pounds. The injectors in the Stage 2 kit are 60 pound per hour injectors, which is a huge difference. So the reason the engine was running rich is it had the wrong injectors that didn't match the programming in the computer. The shop that installed the used engine had no idea that this engine had a Stage 2 GM Performance Kit put on it. So once again, the wrong injectors, if they're too big, can cause the engine to run rich and set our rich condition P codes.